Today's 10,000 Reasons flashback takes us to October 25th, 1996, program number 5052. The guest was Phil Vischer, the creator of what was then a new and extremely popular children's animated series, Veggie Tales. Chuck and Jenny Borsellino were hosting that day as Phil explained the importance and challenges of reaching kids with God's love. And you might even see Bob the Tomato on the set too. I love kids, but I hate the stuff that Hollywood feeds them. Mm -hmm. um, the media, media is probably the most powerful moral influence mm -hmm. on Western civilization. I think mm -hmm. that's, it's pretty hard to disagree with that. But when you start looking at these media companies in Hollywood, they're motivated by one thing, and that's profit. So they will do whatever they have to do to, to increase shareholder return, yeah. to make their stock price go up so they can do stock splits and have dividends and, you know, and retire and be fabulously wealthy. And there is no one in Hollywood that will do what your kids need, that will give you what they need as opposed to what they think they want. Mm -hmm. you know, and I've, I've said it's kind of like um, a man walks onto a, a uh, schoolyard with, with two guys walk onto a schoolyard, one has a bucket full of apples and the other one has a bucket full of Twinkies. Now which guy is going to be more popular? It's the guy with the Twinkies. Mm. Which guy do the kids need more? They need mm. the guy with the apples. Hollywood will say, well we can't sell apples because the kids don't want them. They want Twinkies. What my challenge is to say, no, the, 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 the key is not to knock off the guy with the Twinkies. The key is to come up with an apple that tastes like a Twinkie. <laughs> an apple that tastes like a Twinkie. And Phil certainly made that a reality with so many high-quality, entertaining, biblically-based episodes of Veggie Tales. More recently, our Crossroads Global Media Group has partnered with Phil Vischer to produce Rock Kids TV, which includes our own God Rocks characters, as well as some new animation Phil has developed for his latest project called What's in the Bible? More apples that taste like Twinkies for a new generation. That's just a quick flashback as we look forward to program 10,000.